Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. It only took a year, but I got with people online. Finally got our... Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> what did we finally nah. get? <laughs> Spider-Man comes out tomorrow, Jeff. Now, if you guys didn't hear me when I at the beginning of the, the show. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Like Spider-Man. Oh, that's yeah, tough. That's like number two. I was two like, on, wait. Yeah, that's yeah, like number two what on my list. about finally after you? No, I'm not going to skip work to play the video game like everybody else. You probably should. I know, right? Watch that download. Take a, No, it's not going to take a minute. We got God Internet now. But anyways, um, no, if you guys didn't hear me at the beginning of the introduction, we finally got our listening podcast on Pandora. Um, it took us a year for some reason because it wasn't working or doing anything like that. But I went ahead and talked to a technical support and they saw the problem. And then they went ahead and fixed it for me. So now, because as soon as we... Yeah. He was talking too much shit. <laughs> like... Well, I think they were going through like an issue where Stitcher... And Pandora, we're going through a merger. So it's like um, it, the website was Stitcher, but then it was it was next to Pandora. But then they mm. got rid of Stitcher, and now it's just Pandora. Okay. So I'm guessing Stitcher didn't do very well. Hmm. So they went ahead and went to Pandora. But we got all our episodes on there right now. So all of them. Um, everyone now. Uh, everyone now. That's all of them, right? Yeah, that's literally all of them. Like, we're literally on every single one. Um, that's pretty. Now that... Um, now that because i know some people like literally grew up listening to pandora because it started right. it started in the year 2000 when you, when you brought it up the other day i was like man that's yeah it started 2010 i mean yeah, 2000 like a, it started, i was like wow yeah. i remember pandora mm-hmm. what happened to pandora no pandora's still going strong because as soon as we we added our episodes to pandora we had 153 uh listens or downloads in a single day in a single day wow. so it's like they because if they if you look at what's new will pop up on there so it's like as soon as we put it on there everything started going up so that was amazing guys i appreciate whoever is listening to us on pandora yeah thank you thank for you for doing thank that you. but uh yeah we're officially on all the listening uh platforms that most of the world listens to now there's other ones that pop up on our analytics but it's like from around the world that connects to right the main so but no, that's that's amazing. I'm glad we're on there. But something happened at work today because, you know, my company, we always do like... Um... <laughs> it's that serious. What happened? I have to tell you the story, guys. Oh, no. It's horror. Trust me. <laughs> it's going to scare you, too. It's going to really scare oh, you. Oh, man. So, um, I happened... It... it Today's Thursday, by the way. So right. happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday. <laughs> so I come in and work today, and you know it's uh, associate appreciation. You know the company does it like every other month, I believe. Mm-hmm. So they pick a day, they pick a theme, and then our corporate will send down the email and let us know what it is. And when they told us what it is, I'm like, they're fucking joking. This isn't serious. They're, I'm like, no one's gonna eat this shit because it's like. <laughs> you you like uh like I said. Wait wait let us Because <laughs> normally what I remember was during Associate Appreciation Day. Uh huh. They would go nuts in the meat department. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they give them yeah. a budget of five hundred. Right. And then each store has a budget of five hundred dollars, and then you get to and then they got to pick the thing. Now corporate started giving us the thing. They're like y'all balling too hard. Yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> Too expensive. We ain't getting no uh, tax He's break like, on what this the shit. Fuck? There's no tax break on this shit. What so we're gonna fuck? so we're gonna choose because we're not selling certain things. Right. So they decided to do 
um, a health awareness theme for the associate appreciation. And I'm like, nah, you don't appreciate me because you wouldn't do this shit. Because you know my fat ass ain't going to eat nothing healthy in there. <laughs> I walk in the ensemble and I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, prunes. I'm seeing grapes. I'm seeing water. I'm like, you guys didn't even get Coke Zero. <laughs> I would have drank Coke Zero if you got Coke Zero. You see salad. salad. You see um, cucumbers. I was surprised, too, because they had, like, whole bell peppers. I'm like, are you... Whole, like, they didn't I even said, prepare is, them? I, <laughs> like they just grabbed that bitch out of produce and threw put, it threw in it there. there. And I'm like, is this, is this an American thing? Because right, in, in, in the Caribbean islands, we kind of dice it up, cut it. Cook it, do cook something. Cook it, do something what with it. Fuck? No, they just took a whole they bell pepper. garnish it, stuff nah, it, nothing. They didn't do nothing. 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 <laughs> so they put a whole bell pepper in there. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm supposed to eat the whole thing? And then... <laughs> I'm like, they have watermelon. They have, uh, they they even had uh, hummus. They were trying to excuse. What is going on? They're trying to excuse. I don't know. What the hell? I is think this? they're calling us fat without saying it. What the fuck? You is what? This? Hell no. They're yeah. calling you peasants. Peasants, you don't deserve steak. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, eat don't something healthy. Steak. Eat grains. They eat, eat something bro. healthy. What are you eating right there? So it was nuts to me because I'm like, what the fuck? You guys are trying to make me eat healthy. I'm trying to maintain this. I walk this in the form. Yeah, I'm this. trying to make maintain this form. I walk in the room. This physique. I'm trying. To, yeah, this physique. <laughs> I'm like, you guys ain't even got chicken. Wait, they didn't. They had no meat. They had to bake the chicken in order for it to count. So they brought in baked chicken with seasoning from the deli. So. So nothing from the meat department. It was just produce and deli. Produce and deli. So they had no cakes, no sweets, nothing. No nah, nothing. They tripping. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They tripping. It's like they're trying to tell me, dude. I walk in the room and I'm losing weight standing there, looking at all this healthy shit. I can't do that. You're making me lose weight when I'm. It's cuffing <laughs> season. <laughs> Jeff said my eyes burning <laughs> calories, bro. What the fuck? I'm, I'm like, what are, you, what are you guys doing to me? Th- this ain't food. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you eat when you're that's bored. That's wild. <laughs> no, that's wild. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? No, they I'm like, I ain't eating this shit. So I wait for the chicken. I had chicken, some cucumber, was and I drank water. dry? And, oh. No? <laughs> yeah, it was dry. Hey, well, of course it was dry. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Of course it was dry. Bro, they're trying to bake that chicken, bro. Nah, no, of course nuts. it was. I would have rotisserie it. Why would you bake that? No, it was that? nuts. Well, it, whole... it was the pieces. It was the it was the chicken pieces. You got the drums. You got the drums, and you you got the wings. You mean the? Yeah, the little. The yeah, but they it was baked, so they say. Man. So they say. So Man, like, nah, that's too much, bro. Bro, I'm like, god damn, that's too much. Cause I remember every single, like before. Yeah. Like they be having burgers, they be mm-hmm. having steaks, but it's like bratwurst, hot dogs. But it's like corporate started dabbling they in everything that we do now. So it's like, all right, our sales. Let's say this. I'm not saying this is what they're doing, but that's what I believe it is. So it's like our sales are down in this specific area, mm-hmm. like because most of it was led by produce, the fruit, the tomatoes, mm-hmm. the bell peppers, all that stuff like that. Right. Let's get all that money of healthy stuff and put it in there. Well, I mean, they have some protein bars, but protein bars. Nature Valley protein bars. What the bars. fuck is this? A stable? They fucking feeding the horses? No, nah, we cows. Ne- we cattle. What They're getting the us fuck? ready for season. We got. We got to have you energy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, you said we need to get y'all down fifty pounds. Y'all gonna? Be... <laughs> we trying to get make sure you have some what? energy for the season. So what? I'm like, bruh, what are you doing? This is this is you you you're silently making fun of me. Did anyone? Anyone <laughs> else? What was the mood? People what are like, what the, the fuck? Like, what the fuck? So <laughs> what one what our receiver did was she just added some Halloween candy in the back. I'm like, this is why I'm here. <laughs> that's a shame. Diabetes. No, nah, that's a shame. I'd have been mad as fuck. I'd have been mad as fuck. Chicken and right? diabetes. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Let me get. So, but I feel like you'd waste more money if no one's gonna eat the stuff. 
And that's the thing. You are wasting more money because no one's going to eat the no stuff. On top of that, stuff. once you open up fruit, vegetables, and all that shit like that, it's only a day. Where when it was like the chicken or the pizza party or whatever oh. that theme they chose, people would grab plates, save it for later, and then take it home and then they eat it. Hmm. Salads are like... To, to, like, what is it, like, to lighten the food that you I eat or something like that? Before, I usually eat salad before I eat anything heavy. Yeah. And how does that help again? I don't know. I guess, like, the roughage aids in digestion. And Got stuff you. Like there you go. Like, so, it's not making it so hard. So hard to digest. Stomach, yeah. Yeah. So, basically, that's that's kind of what it was. And I'm like, nah, you, you guys are just, I mean, you gave us, you gave all the stores $500 to put healthy shit on the thing. But it's all going to be wasted. And I'm right. like. That's a shame. Nah, I'd have been mad as fuck. I just walked out. I just wouldn't have ate. No, I, I, had, I had to get the candy. <laughs> you what? You could never do a protest, ever. You gave so fucking fast. You gave it's so a, fast. It's the sugar man. gene. That's tough. It's the as sugar. We're fighting injustice yeah. across the world. Offer this nigga Reese's. <laughs> A Reese's cut is over. Oh, He's selling man. everyone out. Oh man, it's, He's it's giving everyone the blueprint. Right, what right. The heck? I'm telling you, man. I'm that, dead. So, man, I thought I would just uh, kind of bring that up because I'm like, bro, why? Like, what did I do to deserve this? I know I'm obese, but you came back to work. That's what happened. <laughs> you went back to work. Everyone's like, "How's your vacation?" It was great. I said, "I'm sorry, I'm back." <laughs> no, what the heck? Y'all should be sorry. You know, I'm everyone back. kept telling me, oh, we thought you left. <laughs> I said I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, how about they text your ass right now? Right. Hey, Jeff, guess what? You're out. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Thank you. I'll take all my money. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You tripping. My guy. You tripping. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, yeah, man. I thought I'd bring that up, man, because that was crazy. I've never seen that before out of my 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 entire life working for for the company. I've never seen them actually try to feed us healthy stuff. It's like, damn, that's weird. I think that's just all just to not waste money. So they're just because it's more expensive to get. Yeah, now the, it's but not that's extreme now though. Yeah, I feel like they've but, reached a point where it's like. Everything is becoming very extreme. Only yeah. The only reason why I say that is because, like I said, it was associate appreciation. We'd sit down in the meeting, and they'd say, what theme do you want it to be? Now we got an email saying healthy stuff. I have a question. Do you think there's, like, this conspiracy to, like, wane all of Americans off of, like, high caloric foods? Because yeah. they know they're going to cut back on the distribution and production of food. Probably, And yeah. low-key starve the population. Hey, if you can do that, then you'll get us down. To make to. them want to work to eat. I don't know. I just Holy pulled shit. that out my ass. I don't know. I just pulled that out my ass. Don't listen to me, bro. Probably what it is, low key. Don't listen. Watch to them me. saying on your on your uh, as right. they're as they're listening to us uh, talk right. about this shit. What, like, what? how did he know? Next thing you know, they <laughs> I'm on the news. Yeah, we found data that he was a terrorist. What? <laughs> what? what? A man with a clean record is what? all of a sudden all a of a sudden. Fuck out of here, bro. That's crazy. And then all the all the 141 YouTube videos we put online are completely gone. Completely gone. 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 Deleted. So, so they don't prove that we're all the pic, all your social media is gone. Deleted. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. No, we're I gonna find it, one picture where I'm doing Naruto hand signs and say, yeah, he was affiliated. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh man, the Kakatsi clan. Uh, <laughs> no terrorist. What the fuck? Oh man, to use metal rods in his bombs. <laughs> you can't say that, dude. Uh, you can't say that. Watch this go offline right the fuck now. Boop! <laughs> the motherfucker said the magic word. <laughs> what? Metal rods? No bombs. See? Now you made me say it too. You what? Now you made me say it too. Oh uh, shit. Going offline. Yep. All right, man. Let's get to it, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I thought we'd talk about that real quick, but no, definitely. I know there was something we were talking about off camera real quick and something that we didn't realize when we were, when I, when I was in my younger 20s and, of course, you were in your, when I was in my mid-20s and, of course, you were in your um, late teens, early 20s is um, the films that we used to watch back in the day. Can you say movies? Oh, is it because... No, because... Do, do I sound like an old person? Yeah. 
Can you say movie? You what? After you just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> two decades ago. <laughs> the films we watched. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Uh, man movies. The movies that we watched um, back in the day. Because uh, you know how we had a conversation about supernatural mm-hmm. films being able to in, in existential crisis and or horror where you're where it's out of control because it's beyond your your uh your capacity to do anything about it right but they also created uh thriller films too that also are in the realms of your control but something that causes you to struggle and to to survive or to escape or anything like that and it can happen anywhere anytime and that's that's something that's out of control because drugs are always involved or always drugs Yes, yes, it always. Drugs are always involved, and you always wake up in some crazy, scary, weird ass situation. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I know. But um, um, so we were kind of looking up. Yes, inter- sir. Internet kids. kids. If that's who I think it is, then it's Steven. <laughs> that's your boy. What's up, Steven? All right. How you doing, brother? Um. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so we were watching some, uh, so old, so old school films. Let me see if I can bring up a couple of them to you. Uh, where, like, uh, perfect example is Wrong Turn three. I mean, Wrong Turn and this uh, man went straight to three. He said, "Fuck the first two. He's like, "I don't give a damn about him." <laughs> what? The- <laughs> uh, wrong Turn and of course, um, what's the name of the other one? Uh, you get hearts too, brother. Yes, sir. How's it going? How you doing, brother? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Wrong turn, hostile, and what is the name of the the hills have eyes? No human centipede. Well, I'm giving you a couple of examples. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like wrong turn and the hills have eyes were kind of the same because they were like radioactive families that. Uh, that survived. Yeah, that's that's in the realm of possibility. Yes, exactly. Right, right. So it mutated them, and in order for their their uh, species to continue, uh, it always involved grape of the opposite sex, and then of course the killing of the males because they know that that would be that's literally the tactic. That that was literally the, the tactic. Yeah. Tactic. So, um, I would. I would say these are the realm of the possibilities of things that can happen, and then I'm gonna name a couple films on uh, movies off the top. <laughs> you old man, <laughs> off the top of my head. Steven says we chilling. Pokemon go outside. Immokalee ain't got shit. Yeet, yeet. I feel it. I feel it. That's why we ain't there. <laughs> nope. Ah, man. Nope. I don't even want to breathe the air. Me no be there. No be there. Like mm. Mr. Miyagi, bro. Mm. No be there. Me no be there. Yeah. I mean, no beater. Um, yeah, so um, Saw is also one of them, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like uh, Hostel. Did I say Hostel already? Yep. Yep, I said Hostel already. Um, it's like uh, films like that, man. And it's like um, my question to you is it's not even necessarily about surviving certain films like that because I know those are like very dangerous and very real. But it's like it's very scary. What's what's so fun? No, he was re- reacting. Go ahead, go ahead, no. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's very scary to um to even ever see yourself in a certain situation like that because you never know, you never know um if you can escape it or not. Oh no, I'm dying immediately. What the fuck, bruh? Saw? Cut your leg off. To get the key inside your leg. But the question is, you got to ask yourself, why were you in that position? The first I don't time? give a fuck. I'm in the position. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to die. Why? <laughs> because. Look. Why am I going to do all this shit? Because if you think about it, he literally only goes after bad people. Right. Or if your intentions were bad. If, 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 but it's if, always like some extreme. T- okay. Because I feel like. All right. Go ahead. With, with Saul, right? Mm-hmm. What he puts them through. What's the worst thing someone's ever done in Saw? Embezzle money. What? Murder. Have they ever murdered? 
Are they kitty diddly? No, I think uh, most of the things that everyone has done in Saw from 1 through 10 is literally they screwed up somebody else's life to the point where they either killed themselves, mm. uh, got arrested, but that's all that stuff like that. Well, nah, I, think nah, it, nah. I think it was mostly ruining somebody's life. Okay. And and thinking that it was okay to do. It's He calls it life lessons. <laughs> Man. Oh. See, I'm not even trying to sound evil, bro. <laughs> Oh man, you're gonna let me ruin your life? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yep. Are you gonna let someone ruin your life? No, Jeff? I wouldn't. I, you see what I'm saying? You see how easy that no, is? Wouldn't. Just don't let them ruin your life. But because you weren't able to handle what they, what situation they threw at. No, it had to be an extreme situation. It wasn't like. Just, give me an example. It wouldn't just have to like, be. Like I, I what? I embezzled money from you. You lost your house. Mm-hmm. Your wife divorced you. So, all right. Let's see. I'll give you. I'll give you the first plot point of the first movie. No, I just want to know, like, because I don't think ruining someone's life, ruining someone's life, is like should be equal to, I don't know, torture, mm-hmm. and especially like graphic type shit like that. Steven says. Uh, Serbian film. A Serbian film. I think uh, they're talking about my fucking human centipede. Oh, oh, right. oh. Centipede. Yeah, but like, come on. Think about anything. The the worst thing someone can do in life, right? Besides murder and grape and kitty diddling. Yeah. Now look at what they were subjected to in mm-hmm. all those movies. That's crazy. That is. That's that crazy. Is. He went to the extreme. I don't understand what lesson <laughs> you're not pain. You're not teaching the fucking <laughs> lesson, dude. Pain. You're not teaching the let like there was survive. No, there was no lesson learned. Be sympathetic to <laughs> there humanity. Was, <laughs> there was no lesson learned. Be the sim- motherfucker who offed himself is not coming back, and now I'm traumatized. I watched eight other people mm. die. Now I'm missing body parts. What lesson did I learn? Well, the perfect, uh, the one example I can give you was, which is the trailer that I saw, because I haven't even seen the film yet, was Saw X or Ten, mm-hmm. where he, because remember from the first film he's been dying from brain cancer, right? And he thought it was terminal, so he would literally try to right the wrongs of everybody that's been wrong, like, so he doesn't take the whole. I'm not dying of brain cancer as fast as I should be. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should take a new lease on life. No, this is more time to torture mother. Yes, like, because he's crazy. living it. So, that's fucking crazy. So, and the, and, and, <laughs> <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is? 10 can actually, if you think about it, 10 might be the prequel to start it all. Because think about it. He has brain surgery. He has a brain tumor. Mm-hmm. And uh, they faked the surgery, took his money... And then the doctor that said, oh, you still have the brain tumor. And he's like, because nobody operated on you at all. So he found out everybody that was involved and then put them in there. And then said, you think it's funny to play with a man's life. This is all based off the trailer, not me watching the film. So he's like, we're going to play a game. We're going to see how much your life is worth and what you're willing to do to save yourself. So I guess he wanted to make them feel understand what it means to lose your own life, but you're gonna have to feel the pain of it yourself. Of taking your own, own life. life. Well, not necessarily taking, right. because he's like, if you do certain things, remember, he's like, if you get enough brain matter into this, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking nuts. It's fucking <laughs> nuts. He told the guy, if you can get enough brain, gonna be on some bullshit. <laughs> There's <laughs> be some bullshit. Exactly. No, come well, on, it man. Well, and they'll be like, ah, take your fingernails off. Yeah. No, scrape your, peel your scrotum and put it in a fucking blender and make a smoothie or some Ooh. shit like that. Well, it was like, like some bullshit, well, it was bro. Like, well, it was like when um at the beginning of, I can't remember which, <laughs> I think it was Saw 2 or 3, where the girl was trapped in that jaw thing that was going to rip her mouth open. She basically said, <laughs> she he basically said 
there's you there's an there's an option, but there's um the key is in the person's stomach. So you have the choice to let the person live or you kill that person in order to get the key from his intestines to unlock the jaw thing before you die. So it was like these, but they have the same objective as well, right? Exactly. Kill her, you live, or she kills you, and and she lives. So they had to kill each other. Whoever killed each other first is the person that lived. I guess he puts you in a circumstantial situation. It's the Charlie problem. Basically, yes. So it's like, are you willing to die um, and let um, let the other person... What lesson is that teaching? <laughs> a guy offs himself. To show you how... I stuff. don't understand. Well, it, it, oh, like in a, a rock and a hard place type, basically. Shit. And it, right. it, whoever survives the game, they right. forever. Because he overloads you with like, like extremely difficult options. Yes, right. Like yes. let's say you go into like debt, like extreme debt. People, you owe people money. Mm-hmm. You owe the feds money. Shit's just going down the drain, and it's like I could end it all, mm-hmm. or like I go to jail. All this shit. Yeah. Now I'm a, I'm in a rock and a hard place. I'm mm-hmm. stuck. So it's like, what do I do? Yeah, basically, yeah. Or 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 like um like you said, I think the first one was when he was in the bathtub, tied his leg was right. on the floor, on and the he floor. had to saw off his thing. I I think the first one was he embezzled a lot of money from people, making people lose their homes. Right. So it it's like uh, you you don't take people's life. You can't play with people's lives because at the end of the day. You might think it's nothing, but to them, they're the ones that suffer at the end or they end up killing themselves. Right. And I think it really is a life lesson where he actually um, puts you in a situation where you might almost die or die for you to understand that playing with human lives is not that easy. Which is why from the trailer that I saw for Saw 10, it was like that. They told him that they can cure his brain surgery, so he flew across the world, paid for that. Paid for the surgery. They took, oh, and they just like finessed them. They finessed them. They took his money. Oh. I don't know if they. I don't know, and that's why I'm thinking it's a prequel. Well, see, that makes sense because you're playing with his life. Yeah, that's why I say. That's what I'm saying. I think that's a prequel. Okay. I, well, I don't uh, think this is the scenario. Yeah, I, I don't think this playing. is. I don't think this is the. Um, I don't think this is the. Um, the end of Saul after he's done one through right. nine, where it's like, oh, we know you're a serial killer, so we're not going to help you. I think this is the beginning. This is the first time someone. So it's just asshole people created this monster. This monster, and he could be he probably like, oh, I got, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die, so I might as well do quick work of what I got to do. And I'm guessing he um, started taking pills to live longer and longer. This is my theory. This I have to watch the film. But right. if the film is what I am saying it is, and it is the prequel, because remember, that's how they did Final Destination uh, 4. The fourth right. one was, was the, the beginning of the first, of the first one. one. So I'm thinking that's what they're trying what to pull. What if it's just this whole time loop universe? Where like, then he's having a lot of fun killing Absolutely. Because if the last movie is the mm-hmm. first movie, and the first movie leads up to the last, last movie, movie, it's just a closed time loop. Basically, yeah. So, and, and so that, no one ever escapes whatever universe this thing is. Yeah. Infinite death. No, so that's crazy. Uh, but um, in eight, in eight or nine, he did train somebody to replace him. After that was he, his daughter, right? Yes, after he died. So oh, spoilers. Sorry, that movie came out so long. Doesn't ago. matter. You're telling me you somebody have shit. somebody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, most of it is just come out of a cave, discover the right? internet. What is this? What is this? First movie he sees is Sunlight. Saw. <laughs> really? He's gonna be like, is this how the world this really is? This is really is? the world. Oh, what man. the fuck? This is really the world. Oh man. Yeah, man. So uh that that would be uh again, that would be a realistic situation. That'd be a sadistic person, um, mm-hmm. just to teach a, a, a life lesson because there's a lot of evil people in the world. I, I get that. Um, but to ever end up in that situation is is would be terrifying. It's just the same thing with um hostile. One and two. I thought the first one was better than the than the second one. The second one was kind of just riding off the hype train of the first one. Because, mm-hmm. you know, this uh, early 2000s was the era where they just started making a whole bunch of uh, sequels and, and just, just because... It was torture prime. Exactly. All right. Yeah, so that that's basically what it was. They just kept uh, doing the hype train because, again, wrong turn. I spit on your grave. They just kept making yeah. sequel after... Yeah. Well, I spit on your grave was originally from 1988. Right. Then they remade it in 2000. Last House on the Left. Last, yeah, Last House on the Left. That I didn't see. I know you saw that, which you're going to explain in a minute. But um, it's like um, Wrong Turn. Uh, she went on. She was a writer. She went 
um because she, she was a book writer she went out to the her cabin that she goes to every summer um to get ideas to write for her book talks to her boyfriend she says she's doing okay mm-hmm. uh w- three hillbillies one special special ed and two um all you're, brother- you're talking about wrong turn right no, last. Uh, no, I'm talking about. I spit on your grave. See, they all sound. <laughs> they all, but that's the thing. They See, they all sound the same. Hillbillies yeah. in the yeah, middle they all of sound nowhere. The same. So, uh, <laughs> these no. motherfuckers be in, in, in uh, B- butt fuck middle of nowhere. Like, it's like it doesn't make any sense. And yeah, they're genius as hell. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they be coming up with these traps and mm-hmm. contraptions and shit. Like I don't know. Shit yeah. So, that should be crazy. so basically. Um, um, they end up breaking into the house, beating her really badly. Badly, and <laughs> they beat her into a baddie. <laughs> they beat her That's into crazy. a baddie. Um, they beat her uh, very badly, and then after that, they raped her. So after that happened, she was so in shock because um, they each did it. So the the first two brothers that were competent did it. Then they got the one that was mentally challenged to do it, and then. After that, they just they dumped her in the the, the lake because they thought she died. Right. They so they ended up so they ended up he said baddie. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought they um, they thought she died, but she ended up surviving. After she after she uh, um, swam swam out the wa- the lake, mm. she went back into the house, and literally started plotting her revenge. The exact same things that they did to her. She did it to them, but in a different way. And this is I Spit on Your Grave? This is I Spit on Your Grave. That sounds like Last House on the Left. I know, but the, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to laugh because one of the bro- brothers ended up um, graping her in her butt. Ooh. So, knocked him out. He woke up. <laughs> Let me prepare. <laughs> Let me prepare my. Oh, yeah. man. He woke up. Pants down, tied, and then there's like, there's like a, there's like a, a, a broomstick, <laughs> and she's like, oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> like like that. That's 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 that's. So she basically tortured all of them in a similar way, and then there was one where she put a a, a tub full of acid, and then. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Revenge grape. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So but but it's wow. it, yes. But it's like it's like Wow. Yeah. I mean and and it was twisted at the end if you think about it. So the second one died by acid and then the th- of course um the third one died by shotgun mm. to the face. So the one of them was tied to the acid and he had to hold on. If he couldn't hold on, his face would dip in the acid. But here's the thing. There was a shotgun string tied to, <laughs> to so the... So what option do you have? Full dive. Just fuck it. Either cock your head oh, back. No. He, he slow dive. Get your brain blown he, out. He slow dive. Or just dive into yeah, it. Yeah, he what slow dive. He slow dive. No, when um, the, the shotgun wasn't co- uh, pointing at him, it was pointing at the other guy. So if he couldn't hold on... They were both gonna die They're anyway. Gonna die. <laughs> they were both gonna die anyway. So you might as well, you know what I mean, but one was quick and the other one was time, a bro. slow melt. She had Yo, time. She had time. Turn him up his deaths into a circus. Yeah. So That's at crazy. the at the at the end of the movie, of course, all of them died, but mm-hmm. she had a new thing for her book. I spit on your grave. I spit on your grave. Because of what happened to her, she had an idea for her. So it's kind of twisted in a way where it's like because of the traumatic experience that happened to her, she was able to write what it. What was the next one? I piss on your grave? No, it was called, It was literally I spit on your grave 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Nah, it would have been cool if they said I spit on your grave, I piss on your grave, I shit on your grave. Three <laughs> 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 oh, What the fuck? Oh, man. What the fuck? Yes, sir. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But, um, no, I know I remember you uh, uh, talking about The Last House on the Left. So, what was that about? Or do you not? It, I don't remember, but th- it literally follows the same. But that's what I'm the saying. The only thing I remember was a motherfucker got his head microwaved. Yeah. she. Yeah. She, oh, because she fixed the doors. Yeah. And then she shoved his head through the microwave. Through I couldn't remember that. But what I'm saying is, like, 
what do you think made them make so many similarities to those type of movies? Is it because they were afraid? Is it because they're trying to make people fear of traveling or going into the random woods or just going? Because remember, um, Wrong Turn was in America. Um, what was the the Hills Have Eyes was in Chernobyl when the 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 nuclear the bomb. nuclear yeah waste so, disaster yeah so the hills right. have eyes was in chernobyl it was the u.s army they were just stationed there <laughs> for for a minute and then they just started seeing shit move around them motherfuckers were ridiculously strong too <laughs> so that was fucking weird but the crazy thing is the girl survived in the first movie wrong turn the girl survived but ended up was that the one where they finally escaped in the snow and they're like on the little snowmobile and they finally leave the woods, mm -hmm. and then there's like a thin razor wire. Yep. That you can't even see. Uh huh. And you, the credits start rolling, and you think they made it out. Nope. And then halfway through the credits, their heads just get lopped, lopped off, off by the freaking razor wire. Yep. I'm like, damn. Yep. Because I know. Because like, I know uh, the hills have eyes. They mostly needed the women to procreate, but um, that's great. Um, wrong turn was mostly. We ate you. We needed you for meat. So. Why didn't they just eat each other? They couldn't. They were infected. And they're all family members. I don't know. Eat a limb. Each person. They're infected limb. No, they need regular meat. If you're infected, <laughs> why does it matter if you eat something infected? No, no, no. The people aren't infected. They are. Why would they eat each other? Because they're already infected. But they need regular <laughs> Jeff, meat. Jeff, if I've already <laughs> been poisoned, why does it matter if I eat poison? No, because it doesn't taste good like unpoisoned meat. <laughs> you already <laughs> a cannibal. Why the fuck uh, does it matter Jeff. what the meat tastes like? They, they need to be red and tender, you know? You don't want to eat that uh, toxic <laughs> meat. Oh, you don't want to eat the radioactive meat. Bro, just... Order chimpanzees off of I don't know. Where they gonna get chimpanzees, Jeff? They're in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. Hoping Break people. into a zoo or some shit. So this is what will happen. They would throw basically nails on the road. They get a flat tire, and of course they turn. They do a wrong turn. They go in. And, <laughs> oh, that can anybody help us? Blah blah. blah. But the bullshit because there was no satellite towers. Oh yeah. Advanced right. cell phones. This was the early two thousand, right. so they right. weren't able to do fucking shit. Like so, GPS wasn't really. Yeah. All that shit. Worked. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. But um, no, man. Uh, that that was that was basically that was literally basically the premise mm -hmm. of of the whole of the whole spiel. It was like um, literally trying to survive some weird, creepy mutation or person doing some crazy shit. And I was like, "What the fuck? This is crazy, and this is real. It, this is real. It, yeah, this it's is happened can, before. This is shit right? That can Lone people have do, done shit like this. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So and it's, it's like, like you can't even be like, "Oh, that's out of the scope of possibility." And that's what. Well, <clears throat> when I was young, when I was watching Hostel, that's kind of what made me afraid to want to actually travel, travel. because it's like, "Damn, that. you're telling me Americans are worth a lot just so you everywhere can, just so you can pay to torture them." Yeah. Ransom. And then, and then, if you want to uh, torture an Indian person, or you want to torture a, nah, a Chinese person, they're they're this much amount of price. And then they'll put you in a taxi cab in the middle of the night, lock the doors, and then gas you. Then you wake up tied up. And then the the whole spiel is to survive these rich assholes that are just that have these sick, twisted, demented, demented thoughts. So you of, mean the real world? Yes, <laughs> the rich elite. Yeah, you know? you're just describing the, the ones, real world. The, the ones that do uh, crazy weird. Yeah, shit. The, the real world. Yeah, you know. So, but uh, no, I know uh, your boy was talking about uh, the human centipede. Was that was that human was? centipede? Is it the human centipede? Yes, yeah. it is the human centipede. Mm -hmm. I'll let you leave that one, sir. You've seen all three of them. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Please describe. Uh, I can't remember though. I can't remember shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, the shit. first one was the fat short doctor mm -hmm. that got the human centipede, but they were in the like the garage. Or I something. think like the second one, it was like some copycat, like inspiration. Yes, off because of the it. first one had died. Because the first one had died, mm -hmm. so they did like a copycat, but this time they did like it was like a full circle train. No, it was more people. Yes, he he actually had 
Okay, yeah, all right. We don't got to talk about that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, we don't got to talk about that. Boy, I ain't for to have you puking on this shit, bro. What I'm not. Fuck? It's just cringy. It makes my heart like, Ugh, Yeah, no. it makes my heart hurt. No, but that if, movie if, was if, crazy. if I'm not, if, if. That movie was crazy. If I can be honest, I would rip my jaw. Which movie, which, was it the first, the second, or the third, where the pregnant lady escaped and then gave birth? While she was trying to escape, and then like, oh, yes, this I think it was the second one. She gave birth, stepped on the baby on the fetus, on the fetus, <laughs> just to escape. Just to she escape. didn't give a shit. God She's like, this ain't the time bro. or the moment. Nah, dude, that movie was nah. That was intense. No, nah, that was a super intense, man. That's crazy. Is that movie still like available? Is it banned everywhere now? No, it's still. No, nah, that was intense. Well, it's bro. available for us. It wasn't even an American film, too. No, it wasn't. So why would you ban it from overseas when it was? Made no, no, overseas? maybe they, maybe they're on some fucking gore renaissance or some shit. Oh like, man, how depraved can we get? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, what man. What the fuck? Yeah, man. What the fuck? That's nuts. That's crazy, man. Nah, they did some horrific shit. I can't describe any of it because that could be TOS on this fucking thing. Oh, nah, you could just uh, <laughs> make up some stuff, you know. <laughs> Bro said, nah, to the normies, that's regular. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I gotta, now I gotta avoid that country, man, because oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to end up, uh, I don't want to end up going there. They said we do that on a daily. <laughs> Did, have you ever seen the Belko experiment? That sounds familiar. Break it down. Uh, Belko experiment was a whole bunch of employees in the building. They, oh, yeah. Prison and guard. What? Nope. Let me shut up. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's a bunch of regular employees in the building. And um, the windows and doors kind of closed up with a steel, be steel mm -hmm. um, shields or whatever you call it. And they basically said that you guys... Are going to have to survive. You guys are going to have to kill each other to survive, and if you don't, then we're going to start killing everybody. Oh, that's crazy! Everybody one by one, the Belko experiment. I, I know, feel like I've seen. Yeah, this. yeah, you saw. Yeah. you saw the trailer for it, but I actually watched the movie. Yeah, yeah. So like those three guys were like on board to killing whoever that they had to kill to right, survive, they were the bad guys, and right. everybody else is like, oh no, morals and survive, and we can't do this or do what they want, but. What they said was, if you do not kill, we're gonna kill everyone. We're gonna kill everybody, or kill three people within that hour of, of right. whatever was so, going so on. What are we doing? So it's Among Us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, Among Us. So it's like, um, it's like I think, like you said, not not the. Is it like the the trolley problem? It's like they put these people in those type of situations. Right. Where right. It's like, Rock in a hard place. Exactly. Where it's like either you want to survive. Or you kill everybody else. And the question is, how much are you willing to let go of your humanity to want to do that? I'm probably just going to die. Just Either someone's going to kill me or... Just like I don't want to live forever knowing I, what I've done. You got to understand. You got to understand. If I'm in a situation that's being controlled by some overseer, uh -huh. they can see everything I'm doing. That's true. You see what I'm saying? So what am I going to plan it's besides like, obeying what they do? It's like Escape Room, the right. movie. Right. Yeah. What What am I going to plan? You remember how I told you, let's be for real, like realistic type shit? Like, come on. You find yourself in that situation. You're going to play by the rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You're going to play exactly. by the rules. And it's like, it's a doggy dog. You either survive or you, you end up dying. Because... But it honestly depends on how I'm feeling that day. What? I it doesn't matter how you I think did. about it, right? Let's say I kill all these motherfuckers and I finally get out. I still gotta go to work. <laughs> I still gotta pay bills. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're so right. What the fuck? Uh, now shit. I got bodies. Uh, That's shit, crazy. You're right. And it's now like, I got bodies. It's like uh, if That's it were crazy. um um not not Hunger Games, but uh, what's the name of that show on uh, Netflix? That that Korean show that did so. Oh, well. um, 
It's literally Squid Games. Squid Games, yeah. It's like Squid Games. So if it was like a Squid Game situation where they gave you money so you wouldn't have to ever work. <laughs> Word. Would like, ain't no reward. Yep, there's no it, reward to... It uh, says, as good a person... As a good person, I'll probably die just because I can't kill the drug addict with daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, uh, shit. That's awesome, man. That's nuts. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, but uh, <laughs> I feel it. No, I feel it because it's like it really depends on how I'm yeah. feeling. Well, like I, some people, I'll be like, you know, I'm gonna try to kill you because you're an asshole. You know, like you're you're the you're the main bad guy. Yeah. Like after that, it's like eh. I think for me, it's if you come at me, then I have to kill. Right. You. So it's like I'm gonna wait for you to come at me. Right. If you don't but if come no one, if ever, if no one does that, that's bullshit you're because that's not gonna happen. Off. <laughs> you're getting picked off. You're getting picked <laughs> off <laughs> because that's not gonna happen. You know how lame that would be, bro. What the fuck? You get picked off, bro. Yep. No, I've no. Been. Just go after the bad guys. Yep. Nah, you look like an asshole. Five shanks to the chest. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you're, you're still alive? <laughs> yeah, that counts. I'm good for this uh, round. Shit. <laughs> Don't pop me. Yeah, what? Man. Um, uh, no, another one that just came through my mind: Hannibal Lecter. Ah, yep. Hannibal uh-huh. Lecter. Where he never at? said that thing. The so don't fucking say no, it. No, I wasn't going to say it. He never fucking actually, said it. I was actually going to say he never said hello, Clarice. He never said okay. But that's, that's again. That be Mandela shit. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because I swear to God he did say it. And they fucking changed it in the movie. And I have the Blu-ray. And they changed it. I thought it was Morgan Freeman who said that. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> That nigga's black, Jeff. That ain't even close. <laughs> Imagine if Morgan Freeman played Hannibal Lecter. Oh, that would be good. He That'd is, be amazing. He is the voice of God, Jeff. Imagine, dog, Morgan Freeman as Hannibal Lecter. Oh, yeah. That's top tier shit. That'd be amazing. That's top tier multiverse fucking plot line right there. Absolutely. Solace. Absolutely. What, you looking up other ones that you ain't, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any other ones. The the fourth kind. Oh, that was different. Oh. No, that was different. That was that was. I like that movie. Oh man, yeah, man. But uh, I I I don't think uh, people talk about those type of movies a lot. It's like those are like real situation, real scenario movies where people or human beings can actually survive like uh-huh. certain things, like um, the hills have eyes or the wrong turn, or um, I spit on your grave. Um, saw, um, again, uh, Hannibal Lecter. Like, these are realistic situations that we can always find ourselves in hostile. And it's like, people never think about it that way. But it's like, realistic, a realistic psychological horror is worse than fantasy horror where it involves the unknown. Right. Only because that's something that is plausible or that we can see is happening to us mm-hmm. at that very moment. It's not like... Well, it's like you can argue back to these <clears throat> stories where um, you'll have uh, parents who chain their kids up for 13, 14 years. They're yep. prisoners in their own house. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And they're being starved, tortured, living in their feces and stuff like that. And it's like, <clears throat> on the outside, it just looks like a normal... House. Fucking house in the neighborhood. But you don't know what's going but on. But you inside. have no idea what's going yeah. on in there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's very possible. That's very possible. That's a crazy situation. That, that is. That is. Because in your mind, you're like, oh, you know, all I got to do is fight and I can resolve this and mm-hmm. I can get out. It's not that easy. It really And that's that why easy. I always tell people, um, <laughs> people always, like, we remember we already talked about this. A lot of people think they are the main, the main character in their own story. But sometimes you do, do not understand you cannot control the situation. It doesn't matter how you look at it. You can say, oh, if he pulls out a knife, I'm going to do this, that, this, and that. And then the man pulls out a knife and he's just, <laughs> ah, ah, I'm dead. Ah, you're dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Pull out the knife. I'm dead. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. You can't imagine. You can't imagine. Halfway between you thinking about what you're gonna, what your next move is, you look down. The knife's already in you. <laughs> All right, it's time. <laughs> oh shit! Your move. <laughs> this ain't this ain't a D and D or or a Yu Gi Oh. out the knife. You have activated my trap card. Bottom green. <laughs> Bottom green. It lets me pull two more cards. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now we really dueling. This ain't a fight for my life. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. So th- that's what I always say, man. It, 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 the situations are always uncontrollable. And to, to make 
to actually think that you may be able to control the situation is mad. So it's like, oh yeah, absolutely. Do the best that you can. I'm just gonna to be <sighs> irrational. This is a crazy situation, so I'm gonna be the craziest person in the craziest oh, yeah. situation. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it hard for you to kill me. I'm gonna be the most annoying nigga you ever kidnapped. And they hit, bro, I'm just start breaking shit, doing the worm and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> For no fucking reason. I just like, start making weird like, ass fucking noises. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I just start spitting. <laughs> Who did we you kidnap? Know? Like, Why is he fuck? so nuts? What the hell? Oh, what man. the fuck? I become a Beyblade on the ground, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> what? Be like, Who did we kidnap? What? what the fuck is going on? Stop playing, bro! It's nuts. Stop it's playing. Nuts, don't you don't want to kidnap me? I'm a horrible hostage. I'm terrible. I'll ruin your day. I kill all your plans. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even get to torture me. You yeah. just have to off me right there. The moment you the bag minute, and the tag minute, me, no, it's yeah. not even that. The minute you let me go, I'm not even gonna leave. I'm yeah. gonna sit here. You're gonna feed me now. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit on your floor if you don't give I'm me. I'm just food. gonna be doing dumb shit <laughs> for no fucking reason. You're gonna hate me. <laughs> Like <laughs> you're gonna give up kidnapping, yeah. bro. But um, like um, I will end it off with this. I like I like we always say when you walk into uh any place or situation, know your exits mm -hmm. because facts. real life scenarios can happen facts, all the time, facts. and you just gotta be aware of your spatial be have a spatial awareness of everything around you. Don't just look at everything in tunnel vision. Like you go into a store, as crazy as it sounds, look at your exits, see where you can go. See where you can hide. See anything, objects that you can grab. Just be be aware of uh, of your area and then be able to get out of that situation. Because it's like stupid shit like going down an alley in the dark. Why would you do that? Some people do it anyways because they have no, they have no awareness of their surroundings or they're just oblivious to the world around them. So it's like the, the movies that we named are actual situations that can occur. That's why I always travel with pocket sand. <laughs> you threw me off. Oh man, bro! I bro. really thought about that. I remember one day I sat down. And I I brain blasted this shit, bro. Pocket sand. Think about it. Think about it. You're never expecting to get sand in your eyes. Oh! <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> This You're all you never gotta do. expecting to get sand this in all your you, eyes. This is all you got to do. This is all you got to do. All right. So when you get to another country or another state. I'm going to Home Depot. Yeah. Get some pockets. I'm getting sand. I'm yeah. stuffing my pockets. What the hell? Get some pocket sand. That's, That's all you crazy. Do. All you got to do is get some pocket sand because... Imagine you're trying to get that me and throw yeah. sand in your eyes. That's true because you would never expect it. You would never it. expect it. Even if you had glasses you on. You got to be irrational, Jeff. <laughs> You you are one of the biggest irrational situation. Nah, call nah, for irrational. No, nah, I agree. Actions. I agree. You are one of them motherfuckers that will actually survive. You will be the last character. Like, you gotta life. understand. I'm gonna make it so fucking hard. It's like immense of shit. Like, he this... tried so hard to be the side character, yeah. even though he's the main. Uh, well, no, nah, I'm not saying I'm the main character. No, what? I'm no, no. I'm saying you try. You you. you... You act like the side character, and you end up being the one to survive. I'll be doing all the dumb shit. What the fuck? You gonna hate me, bro? No, uh, man. You're not gonna want to commit crimes against me. Yeah, I feel it. Like, oh, no, that's gonna, smart. I never thought about that way. Guy. I never thought about it that way. No, that's very smart. <laughs> Holy Pocket shit, thin, bro. No, that's good. That's good. I'll, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. You could think. Uh, well, whatever we it try. Dale, Dale Gribble. Dale Gribble. Dale Gribble. You don't know who I am, but, but I, I know, know where you, you live. live. Dale, Dale, is, is that, that you? <laughs> <laughs> I can see on the caller ID, Dale. <laughs> oh man, no, nah, Dale knew his shit. Bro. Yeah, but that that would be my final that would be my final thought on that. I would literally just say, just be aware of your surroundings because just because it happens in the movies doesn't mean it doesn't happen in real life, and you'll never know. It's like when a parent sits in the in the part with their child, they look away for a second, their child ends up disappearing. That'd be crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's real shit that you see every day, all the time, and 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 it's it's real. Mm -hmm. It's real, and just because you never met a serial killer like hostile or um uh, just because you never read, met rich assholes in, in, yeah, like hostile what? or um jigsaw niggas <laughs> like saw or doesn't mean that shit like that won't ever happen to you unless you stay unless you stay in your life i don't life. think you ever meet a serial killer 
<laughs> they're not on Indeed <laughs> submitting, <laughs> submitting resumes. L looking for an assassin? <laughs> submitting resumes. Yeah, I got like 82 bodies if you need yeah. someone. To... What the fuck? Uh, stab one from one because he, yeah. he or she resisted a little bit. What the fuck? No, I feel it. I feel it, bro. But no, no, it's just that, uh, yeah, just... Um, Steven said, fuck. Don't worry, Steven. We will be back Tuesdays and Thursdays, sir. What's going on? Why do you say fuck? Because we got to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, we'll be, but, we're, we're, we're here too. And, 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 again, and again, too. No, I appreciate you for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thank you for stopping but, by. And, and again, too, we do have 141 videos. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you can dive into those, you know. Yep. See all the fuckery. <laughs> that we uh, go through every day. Absolutely. But Absolutely. Thank you again, Steven. It's good to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. you stopping by. Appreciate but, uh, the support. Any final thoughts, sir? Me? Shit. No, sir. I say what I say. Make it difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pocket sand. Make yeah. it difficult. No, I feel it, man. Just, so any country you go to, we get pocket sand. Any state we go mm -hmm. to, we get pocket sand. Mm -hmm. I need to look for a beach first or some dirt. Mm -hmm. Or we go in the Home Depot for randomly no reason. Yep. yep. Pocket sand. I got there you. you. Go. There you go. All right. That's what's Take up. us home, sir. Guys. Thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, <laughs> and day. Push through. You got it, Joe. Keep going. You got it. And we'll see you on Tuesday. See you. See you. Oh, Tuesday.